In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on August 25, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on this three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Cincinnati Reds vs. Philadelphia Phillies The Cincinnati Reds conclude a four-game series Thursday on the road in the city of brotherly love when playing the Philadelphia Phillies. Cincinnati is fourth in the National League Central and out of playoff contention, while Philadelphia is third in the National League East and currently holds the second and final spot in the National League wildcard chase. Cincinnati will send right-hander Justin Dunn to the mound, while Philadelphia will counter with right-hander Aaron Nola. Philadelphia has taken care of business when playing against Cincinnati, winning four of the last five overall between the two National League rivals and winning 36 of the last 51 played at home against the Reds. Philadelphia has 10 victories in its last 14 games played at home and the Phillies have won eight of the last nine against a team from the National League Central. Cincinnati threw in the towel on the season at the trade deadline when trading away Brandon Drury who led the team in home runs, RBI and hits. With Joey Votto out injured, Tommy Pham is the only player with double digits in home runs for the Reds. Only two teams in baseball have a worse earned run average than Cincinnati, so the Philadelphia Phillies to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. I have a lot more confidence in these offenses than I do on Aaron Nola at home or on Justin Dunn anywhere. The Reds have scored at least four runs in six of their last eight games and have allowed at least five runs in three of their last four. The Phillies offense has scored at least four runs in their last ten games, and the over has cashed in 59% of their games as a home favorite this season. Nola has allowed five runs in two of his last three starts, and while I don't think the Reds are world beaters, I think they could scratch a few off of Nola and the Phillies can get to Dunn in another high-scoring affair. The trends point towards the over, and that is what will hit in this game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Chicago White Sox vs. Baltimore Orioles The Chicago White Sox wrap up their three-game series in Baltimore on Thursday afternoon. The White Sox are still in the hunt for the American League Central Division crowd but will need to start playing with more consistency. The Orioles continue to be the surprise team of the American League as they hang in the wild card race. The pitching matchup on Thursday will feature veteran right-hander Lance Lynn of the White Sox taking on Jordan Lyles of the Orioles. The White Sox are hoping to make a push for the playoffs and win the final game of the season series. The problem is that the Orioles have been red hot in the second half of the season with an 18-13 record and have particularly had the White Sox number, going 4-2 against them. As a result, the Orioles, who average 4.3 runs per game, should constantly drive in runs against Lance Lynn and the rest of the White Sox pitchers with Adley Rutschman, Anthony Santander, and the rest of the Orioles lineup making hard contact and putting together strong plate appearances to keep rallies going. The Orioles should also limit the White Sox lineup that is scoring only 4.2 runs per game with Jordan Lyles stepping up on the mound and pitching multiple scoreless innings to allow the bullpen to close out the game with a comfortable lead. The Orioles have won Lyles' last seven starts on grass, and I expect they will continue the success here. Lynn sits with an earned run average of 5.5, and the Orioles are going to give Lyles some run support here. The Orioles should have another strong performance at home, so the Baltimore Orioles' money line is our full game side pick. Both teams have been carried by their lineups and the upcoming game should reflect that with both teams driving in runs from the first pitch. The White Sox look to build off a five-run game and easily drive in runs against Jordan Lyles and the rest of the Orioles pitchers with Jose Abreu, Andrew Vaughn, and the rest of the lineup making contact and putting the ball in play. The Orioles, who have averaged 4.9 runs in August, should run up the score with Adley Rutschman, Anthony Santander, Austin Hayes, and the rest of the batting order crushing the ball and swinging for the fences to drive in runs at will. Through 124 games, Chicago ranks 15th in OPS and 19th in runs scored. For the season, Baltimore ranks 18th in OPS and 16th in runs scored. This will be a high-scoring game controlled by both lineups. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. 
Colorado Rockies vs. New York Mets After getting swept by the New York Yankees, the 10-game road trip for the New York Mets finally comes to an end with the team returning to Seedy Field to take on the Colorado Rockies on Thursday. The Rockies split even in a two-game meeting with the Texas Rangers, including a 16-4 blowout loss in the finale. They'll try to get a game back in the win column with Ryan Feltner starting at pitcher against Mets righty Jacob deGrom. After sweeping the first Subway Series of the season, the Mets just had the favor returned to them this week. However, they still have the second-best record in the National League and are out for their 80th win. They also have the luxury of a day off prior to this game and essentially remaining at home. Technically, they were in Yankee Stadium, but that's just across town. It's certainly much closer than Colorado, where the Rockies will be coming in from. Not only that, they will have just wrapped up their series with the Rangers without the day off ahead of this game. That's not a great recipe for success against Mets' Jacob deGrom. The back-to-back -back Cy Young winner was originally scheduled to start the second second game of the Subway Series on Tuesday. However, he was allotted some extra rest and preparation for this start. It's not as if he needs it, as he's looked like his dominant self since he returned this season. He struck out 12, 10, and 9 batters over his last three starts, and has been able to pitch deeper into the game with each one. Those numbers should only improve with his history against the Rockies. DeGrom has dominated them, with a 5-1 record and an incredible 1.17 earned run average. That's no small sample size either, it's across 9 starts. He didn't face them earlier this season, but his two starts against them last season ended with strikeout totals of 9 and 14, both of which were wins. Rocky starter Antonio Senzadler recently tore his ACL, forcing rookie Ryan Feltner to duel DeGrom in this game. With the Mets out to make up for their last two games, he may not be out there for long, so the New York Mets to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Rockies' run scoring defense has been too bad on the road to ignore. They are currently ranked dead last in the league in average runs scored against them this season. It's a serious problem that will ultimately lead to their undoing in what will be a lopsided contest on Thursday. Opposing teams are averaging a ridiculous 5.45 runs per game against the Rockies this season. You can rest assured Ryan Feltner will struggle in this game as well against a tough Mets batting lineup. Such was the case for the Mets in their last outing against the Texas Rangers, who blew them out 16-4. Obviously, DeGrom is the reason for the low total, and deservedly so. However, this has nothing to do with him, as long as C.J. Cron and the Rockies can snag a run or two when he exits the game. That should be all that is needed. The Mets had the superior bullpen, but have allowed runs in the late innings in each of their last five games. Even still, this is all about them smashing Feltner and the Rockies' terrible bullpen. Their relievers are the second worst in the league and couldn't be more fatigued. Starter Jose Urena gave them just 1.1 innings on Wednesday, working that bullpen to the max. Now they travel cross-country to face arrested Pete Alonso and company. The argument can't even be made that Feltner's troubles are due to pitching and hitter-friendly Coors Field. His last start away from home was a 13-5 loss. He even allowed five runs to the Marlins' terrible offense in pitcher-friendly Miami, so expect a Mets route on Thursday. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.